Have you ever walked into your child gaming and thought, what the heck, who said you could play a game like that? Well, stick around and I'll show you three tips to set up a safe gaming experience for your child. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to simplify your gaming experience, or in this case, to make it a safer one. Now, as a parent of a young gamer as well, my son is now eight years old and he has been gaming since around three and a half, four years old. Uh, I am the owner of a mobile video game truck, so he's kind of had a quick end to video gaming in his life as well. And one of our concerns also is making sure that he's playing games that are appropriate for his age according to our personal beliefs. And so to make things easier, I've come up with three simple tips to help you provide a safer gaming experience for your child. And now the first thing I'm going to suggest is that you take that console and you move it to a public room in your house. Now, whether that's your living room or maybe you're lucky enough to have a separate room or your family kind of hangs out and you can make it a gaming room as well where everybody can still walk by and you can walk by and see what's going on. That's the first thing I would do in order to provide your child a safe environment when it comes to gaming. And by doing this, it'll obviously give you the ability to see what your child's playing at all times. You'll be able to, at the very least, hear, and you'll be able to kind of monitor what he or she is playing at all times. Uh, as well, uh, while you have this in your public area, I would encourage you to sit down and actually play with your child. I know, you know, not all of us are gamers as parents. Uh, maybe you haven't gamed ever. Maybe you haven't gamed in a long time. Uh, but, you know, it is something that your child enjoys doing. And this is a great way to spend some quality time with your child and maybe even get them to open up to conversations that they don't even realize they're getting into while they're playing games with you. However, if you don't have the ability or the option to take that console and put it in a public space, then let's go ahead and at least familiarize ourselves with video game ratings and how they can help you keep your child safe. And you know, as I mentioned earlier, I am the owner of a video game truck. And one thing that I constantly hear from some of my parents is, uh, when we offer them the option, you know, do you want to allow mature rated games inside the game truck? And, you know, quite often what they'll say is what mature rated games are there? You know, what are mature rated games? They may not really even know what mature rated games are. And so the easiest way to really kind of look at video game ratings is just like if you were to go see a movie and you wanted to know whether the movie was appropriate for your child, you would look at, is it a rated R movie? Is it a rated PG movie? Is it a rated G movie, right? So in video game ratings, you're going to find E for everyone one, E10+, plus, which is going to be more of your uh, PG movies, and then you have T for teen rated, which kind of think of PG-13 movies, and then you have your rated M for mature, which again is going to be more closely related to the rated R movies. And so you can use these ratings the next time you find yourself at Best Buy or GameStop and your child comes running up to you with a new game he's real excited to buy and you're like, well, is this appropriate for you? And you want to make sure your child is telling you the truth because we all know kids kind of like to push that limit and test us to see if we're really paying attention. And so if you want to make sure just a real quick overview of whether that game is going to be appropriate for them, then you can just take a look at the bottom of the box and you'll see whether it says E, teen rated or M for mature rated. And then if you think you need to dive into it any further than that, then you can always ask an associate or someone or even look up online somewhere whether that game uh, is appropriate for your child. Now, before we move on, I do want to mention that I do have a free eight steps to a safe gaming experience uh, checklist that you can find in the description below. So make sure you guys check that out if this is one of your concerns and you want to make sure that you're providing a full safe experience for your child, then please feel free to get that checklist. Again, you can find that in the description below. Which leads us to our third tip of the day, and that is setting parental controls on your console. And with these parental controls, it does allow you to set things like content restrictions, which is what we've been talking about so far in this video, but it also lets you set things like time restrictions and who they can chat with, what they can buy, or whether they can even buy anything. So these parental controls really do help put some limits onto the consoles, and it can really help you as the parent have peace of mind knowing that your child can still have fun gaming, but do it in a safe environment as well. 
And so as I mentioned earlier, I do have an eight year old who loves video gaming and with everything going on in the world today, my wife and I do both work from home full time and sometimes we find ourselves being really busy and it's very tempting to just let him sit down and play the video games all day. And so what we found is with these um, on console uh, parental controls, it really helps us limit the temptations of just letting him sit there all day and letting him maybe necessarily play something that he shouldn't be. Now, to learn more about video game ratings, then make sure you check the next video on the screen. Or if you'd like to learn more about parental controls, then check out this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.